date, time, and the Roman time on the dishonor. Yes. So then that same date will follow the bill of lading and your UCC filing? Yes, it will. Yep. Oh. Okay. Thank you so very much. No, thank you. Good luck. Good on you. All right. Uh, guest 57 on the phone line. Yes, guest this 57. is Donna Jo. Frank, uh, Donna? If we, when, you're, when you're getting the foreclosure out of delinquency by, pay, delinquency by paying rent, who, how should that be paid and who should it be paid to? It should be paid to the clerk of the courts being a teller. It should be paid making sure you have a statement so the statement makes clear that if the whole number check is, say, for uh, $500, it represents 10 months uh, of paying um, to get the rent uh, out of delinquency. So then you want to have a, a statement of rent um, also submitted in to the clerk so that it's time stamped and attached and probably a letter which which uh, is a letter of apology uh, for not having the rent up to speed and the fact that uh, you're also submitting a uh, application of financial um, basically uh, a financial statement that you cannot afford to pay any more rent than this and this is your consideration to the landlord and you list the landlord as the bank and um, you just stick purely to the fact that you are a tenant getting yourself back into a position of honour by apologising and, and uh, paying the rent up to consideration and just keep it straight as that. Yeah? Yes, thank you. Um, it's, okay. So if I can't, pl if I can't pay the 10000 that I actually owe and I can pay 2000 that's what I should do? Yeah, but that would be your rent. Yeah, that I would have be the, to say that it's rent. Yeah. Yeah, you just there are three things you need, and we're going to have them up on the site as a separate because I know this is a, foreclosures is a huge issue. Mhm. Mm you need a statement of rent, which gives the in the breakdown month by month of what you are paying in consideration for rent, so that there isn't a single month now that you are you are not paying rent. That means you can't be considered delinquent. Yeah. Secondly, you're going to have a statement of financial affairs, which means you cannot be paying the full rent owed. Yeah? Yes, I understand. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay. All right, uh, Frank, just can we wrap up on the uh, back on the EIN number? This could be the last couple of things we could cover. Okay. Um, the EIN, the importance of the EIN for uh, Opening up the bank account, and uh, or, or what the what the application for the EIN actually specifically is for. This is an important um, topic to kind of to cover, as well as what may be needed at a bank to open up the special uh, deposit account for that trust. Yes. Okay. The 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 EIN is you doing properly to the system the registration of your trust and your standing and the system has shown that when people do things properly they will respond appropriately because people have been doing this now for some time people have been registering their their family trusts as foreign trust entities for some time so you're not the first to do it and if they decline you then they decline a whole range of people like Dick Cheney second the EIN is there so that you can continue to trade, you can continue to earn income, and you can continue to uh, behave properly. But the EIN is a crucial part of the paperwork, including the deed of trust that is required, and usually a lifeborne record that's required in setting up any special deposit bank account for a trust. So getting your EIN done properly is an important part of that. It is not reinserting you into the system. It is not meaning you're under the auspices of the system. It is a way of confirming with the system the change in your standing, your change in your status. We'll talk about it more in coming weeks. We'll be updating that section on the, uh, the help area. And uh, if anyone people has, has, you know, really stuck, we'll obviously help you every way we can. Yes, uh, very good, Frank. And uh, we really appreciate you coming on tonight. And uh, that will be a wrap. Is that, is that all you need to, or would like to cover then for tonight? 
Yeah, look, I'll cover that. Um, and Brian, hopefully, is still around. So I'm sure Brian, if you can unmute Brian, can help in, in answering more questions if people want to keep going. But look, thank you to everyone. Um, but really, it's, it's really exciting to see so many people uh, establishing their competence and, and standing up. And we just want to move forward on that. And uh, we will learn. And everything we learn, we will apply, we will share. And uh, we move forward. So thanks again. Uh, Terry for hosting it and thank you all for your questions comments and uh, we'll speak again next Thursday alright great thank you Frank I appreciate that and everyone appreciates it thank you and uh, everyone happy uh, new year um, so we will speak with the, uh, everyone next Thursday same time same time good Frank 9 o'clock oh yeah he sent me a note all right Thank you, everyone. We're going to uh, – don't see Brian actually on the phone lines right now, so we'll go ahead and uh, call it a night. And uh, Happy New Year to everyone. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>